Hello there, I'm Major Hill. Welcome back to some Civilization VI Rise and Fall playing Mongolia. And in the last episode, or the last couple of episodes rather, we managed to completely obliterate the evil Spanish. That's right, they are done for. Oh boy. Uh, it looks like we're going to lose this guy here, unfortunately, but that's a... Uh, it's just the reality of the situation. We are being denounced by these guys, and these guys are also enemies. So we want to kind of gear ourselves up for the next fight. Which, to be honest, I, I, I think is probably going to now be the Aztecs. That's a bit of a hard slog. To move that way, so let's just stop moving our troops over. Why not? Let's just go. Got most of our dudes ready. Sorry, mate. You're, you're all going to die. I'm very sorry. This is building a commercial center. We've got over here building a holy site. Because we do not have our religion Yonzi. But we do need to have that yet. And we also have over here building walls. And I retrospect, I think maybe we should change away from walls. Yes, yes. Your civilization is the model in which I will build the new Russia. Into a golden age. Ah, oh, because we got a golden During age. This time, our civilization will be strong Yay. And more loyal. Strategy requires history is the version of Hey, make a dedication. You were in a golden age during this era. Each of your citizens success one and a half loyalty. Oh, fantastic. Okay. We're really good then. Oh, so each of these dedication bonuses keep staying with me. That's awesome. Take a look. You, and you may make one dedication. So Eureka's are additional 10% technology costs. Well, that's good because gold and science... Well, that just seems the best. This is good for culture. This is good for building builders. But... Oh, I'm just going to take this one again. That one's amazingly strong. Why would I not take that one? Yeah. All right. And research-wise, we're going to get some horse riding. Culture, I think we should try and get towards theology. Civic states could be good for eventual alliances, but we'll see. And in Kereketo, um, we don't really have a lot we want to build. It takes too long to research individual things. Um, alright. This is a bit of a terrible town, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's just get, like, a builder or something. And we can get a new governor title. Let's get an educator. In Kabul. And I think we're going to need to kind of save up to get some more units. Uh, to prepare for the invasion of the Aztecs. We really don't have the strength to take them at the moment. Problem. Uh, we are not rich enough, even a little bit. Get apprenticeships as well. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to sit quietly for a little while. We don't have the man to do manpower to do this. Right, so we can get some quarries over here for more stone. I think maybe we should actually just consider destroying uh, the Spanish. I mean, we've got it right here. There's another little holy site there. Yeah, man, let's do it. Let's just obliterate them. We can tie our borders together this way. And then we'll deal with the Aztecs later. We're going to need to still maintain some kind of defensive force if we want to try and survive against an eventual Aztec incursion. But till then, we're okay. Um... What else can we get? Fishing boats pillaged. Ah, gotta go repair it. Okay, that's okay. No more have exact religious thinking. Oh, I love the Sean Bean voice. It's really good. I also just changed my headset, so um, I can do more pristine Sean Bean. Ah. <laughs> more pristine Sean Bean. All right, keep sending that envoy because we only know one city state because the rest of them are dead. All right, we need a new economy slot. Whoops. Um, hmm. Kind of skip that. Ah, two gold from trees. I've only got one trade route. One housing in all cities. At least two specials. Uh, let's just get extra building slots. Extra build directions then. Lack of traders is killing me. We also really need to get our commercial site set up. We really do. We're making the mad money, which is good. <clears throat> what do you want? 
Hato says, silver? No, that's a terrible deal. I'm not doing that. Awful, awful deal. Why would you recommend me there that? Is no easy way to trade. Apprenticeships. Nice. Uh, next, next up, get some education. Actually, hang on. When's my main unit? My main squeeze. As in stirrups. Let's get education, then we'll get that. Okay. Guess work on a builder. Been so long for the. Hi. You focused on food. This is the problem. Don't really have enough production. Very annoying. Nursing a limb sip as I record as well, didn't we? Oh, he denounces me. Okay. That's great. Thanks. Thanks. That's really kind. Yeah. I totally did everything worth denouncing. <clears throat> I took one city from you that you stole from someone else. I mean, <coughs> it's not that bad. Apologies for my coughing. I am, as I said, quite sick. Alright, um, over here, I think an encampment or something, but honestly, it's just no good production tiles here. This is the problem. I think we just need an industrial zone. A great engineer point. I think, honestly, that's what we need at best. The only thing we can really do. There's nothing else that's worthwhile. Alright, let's take a look. See what we can do. None of these are very valuable other than buying a new tile. I don't really want to spend a hundred and ten monies. It's such a waste. I'm not spending like precious, precious currency. Screw that. Let's just get something else. Uh, I don't know. We're kind of. I don't know. Pikeman. Yeah, everyone likes Pikeman. Look at that. More envoys forever. Everybody likes more bloody envoys. Okay. Hey, here we go. Hear that. The holy site will be done soon. Because you can finally get our religion. Ah, oh, I want the horses. I need the horses, don't I? Yeah. Okay. This is fine. We're in a good situation. We just kind of have to bear in mind that build, rebuilding, building our economy is good, but defending ourselves is better. God, just leave me alone. Uh, divine right. Here and in... Okay, so we can now start to get an Urdu, which is my unique building in the encampment district. And that's uh, plus one movement to heavy and light cavalry trained in this... Wait, what city am I doing this in? It's here. I have an encampment here. Of course I do. Of course I do. It also gives production housing and citizens slot and great general points. Okay. The only cavalry bonus though. But it's also extra movement, which is pretty good, so. Okay. Uh let's get No, let's let's actually build the Ordu. <coughs> City range attack. Stop breaking apart my crabs. Why are you being such a jerk? Alright, let's go there and found our religion. Choose it. Yes. We're gonna be, um, Mongolism. Because I'm so smart. Alright, let's see what we got. Housing bonuses, amenity, production. Oh, production is okay. But it's only a percentage production, so that kind of means nothing. <clears throat> Shrines and temples, I haven't really built them. One amenity for two special districts, done. Angels, papal primacy, pilgrimage. Foreign cities that follow this religion, no thank you. I'm not really going to be spreading my religion very heavily this game. Campus or commercial hub district in this, following this religion provides one science, one gold. Yes, please. A plus two error score, the true path to salvation. Please ignore all the other ones. Alright, let's take a look at our error score. It's currently 44, and we want to hit 63 if we're going to try and uh, make it our way to the next age. And when does this uh, buy and when do we expand over here? Not for a while. 
really do need to get those horsies. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Little bit. Here, you little shit. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. The purpose of education. Yeah, yeah. Purpose of education is to kill everyone else. Everyone else who annoys me. Purpose of education is. Alright, we got another builder over here. Why did I need a builder? I guess to go over here. Which means we can change production away from this to a campus. Why not? And then we're going to work on stirrups. Here we're going to get... I guess just more crossbowmen, because crossbowmen are the tits. Nice. <clears throat> tits. Upgrade that to a crossbowman, which means you can have metal casting when we desire it. We're going to want to start spamming out extra crossbowmen as well. Invade Spain and just push in to the mini. But at the moment, we really can't afford it. Stressing. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Here we go. Take a little bit of luxury stuff for you lads. Go. Kind of just skipping a lot of turns at the moment. Because we have to wait. The Aztecs just found a new city to the south. Silver over here. Do I already have silver? I do. So we want to get new resources. There. Oh, actually, no, we have five bills. Never mind. What am I doing? <coughs> Before you go over there. We'll build a lovely mine for you. Commercial district's going to be finished soon, which means we can use the gold to buy some lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, there you go. Look, we got loads more production. This should increase. This should make everything a lot faster, right? Betwixt the stirrup and the ground. No Mercy, I asked. Mercy, I, I found. Then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our people take pride in the Urdu, which reflects our values and priorities, because I built my unique building. Cool. Plus four. Um, right, let's get some construction, and then we're going to grab guilds, because I want the extra... I want the governor title. Mercenaries. Let's get mercenaries. Because a 50% discount on unit upgrades would be very nice. <clears throat> and I think we should start sp spamming out those crossbowmen again. As best we can. New government form. Oh yes. We can only have one, so let's go monarchy. Plus one housing level per level of walls. Bam. Oh, look at these military policies. Oh yes. There's 30% towards encampment districts and buildings for that district. And then we have a garrison unit. Ancient and classical units. I have ancient classical units. Unit maintenance, yes. Bit of production towards medieval units, yes. <clears throat> and then put to cavalry, which means I get a wide, wild slot, which means I can get all cities or districts to receive one housing and one amenity. Yeah. Which gives me knowledge of castles, which means ancient traditions of governance, and Genghis Khan chooses monarchy, plus two error points. Pretty. Here, upgrade that. Got a pikeman over here too. Really getting those units out now. I like it. I forgot I built the Temper of Artemis. Oh yeah. Yes, and then we're gonna start to up well I actually don't really have anything else I need to upgrade, but still we're getting some real big bonuses now. If I can get a market here and get trade rate capacity, or I could start spamming units. 
Um, to be honest, units take so long. Let's just get markets and buy the units ourselves. Probably easier. I got the catapult, and I just need a, f a few crossbowmen. Create with the heart. Build, build with the mind. Build with. It's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's get some banking or military engineering for that sweet, sweet armory. Uh, let's get banking. It's gold, two gold for quarry improvement. Oh, yes, please. <coughs> oh, pardon me. This is gonna leave me in sole control of my capital. Just cool. Uh, we're gonna move this crossbowman up as well, because there's a stuff happening. Go fishing boats for amber. Nice. Means food for everybody. Hmm. And there's some barbarians here trying to kill me. That's kind of you. Thank you. Why you gotta be like this, barbarian? Just a couple crossbowmen's all I really need. Got another mine here. It's gonna be a city with lots of production. Put an industrial zone there or something. Okay. We should build an industrial zone. Alright, we're such a large standing army. Mainly oh it got boosted. <laughs> As I finished it. We just go wherever there's a mixture of money, money and trouble. In trouble. Alright, pitches and discount on all unit upgrades. This is Renews at melee, anti cavalry, and range units, and this is heavy and light cavalry units. I don't have the horses yet, so I'm not sure. Let's do that and we can change it for later. Oh no, I don't actually need that. Ah, it's too late. Alright, first of all, this needs to be bought. Bam. You, you need to buy pasture. Crossbowmen go this way. New civic, we're gonna get medieval fairs, a new production. Does that give us access to the horsey horses? Keshigs, yes. Okay, Keshig. So medieval era ranged cavalry unit can escort moving civilian support units in their higher as their higher movement speed. Awesome. The four minutes. We should be five actually, because it should be faster with the Ardu. A range strength of thirty, of forty, and the melee strength of thirty. A knight has a melee strength of forty-eight. So the Keshigs are going to be more valuable in terms of flat damage. Sorry, in terms of archery, but the knight, the, the knights themselves are better in terms of flat damage. Um. Let's start spamming Keshigs. Or Envoys. Actually, nothing to do. No, oh, I'm not making a deal with you. I'm about to incinerate you. Shit. Okay, next up. Let's actually start buying some units. Ooh. Flat out not enough gold. Damn. So we got the crop. We're gonna have crossbowmen piling in here. As soon as we got that Keshig, we'll be okay. I think I guess we should probably upgrade that spearman to a pikeman now. So many envoys. Okay. We will rain fire upon them. The great, the great minds of the world prefer our empire to yours. Uh, I really hope they're not preparing an invasion. Probably are there. All right, so foreign ministry leveraging Sea Estates is half cost of gold. Units and leveraged units get four combat strength. That's pretty cool. So if you're going to leverage a lot of units from city states, it's very valuable. Intelligence agency is um, spines by capacity, a higher chance of success, or grand minister chapel by land units with faith. And pillaging improvement districts provides faith. Yes, please. Okay, good stuff. I realize now perhaps the better route would have been to go towards um, <coughs> trebuchets. Where is trebuchet? Gunpowder of musket. I thought there were trebuchets. No, the next unit is actually a bombard, isn't it? Um, five. 
All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Make sure you leave a like, a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. We're gearing up for the next war. Uh, we're gonna move over and take Geneva, Kazan, sack Tula, and take St. Petersburg for ourselves. Then we're gonna probably need to move south very quickly to try and contain the Mexican menace that is these guys. I forget the name of this fire. What's his name? Tetsuk. Montezuma, there we go. So make sure, like I said, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.